it's KD, and today it's uh, Saturday morning. I've got a little pug sleeping behind me, and I'm just going to show you how I use my Revlon One Step. And I just got my hair cut this week. I got a lot of the dye cut off. And so now that my bangs are shorter, it's a little harder to use the One Step on my bangs because you need to have longer hair for that because the barrel is pretty wide, as you can see. So my hairdresser taught me instead I'm going to use my regular blow dryer just for the bangs and then I'm going to use the Revlon One Step for the rest of it. So here's how I do it. Um, the first thing I do is I wash my hair and I put it in a, um, what do you call this, t-shirt towel and I wrap it up for about 15 to 20 minutes to take a lot of the moisture out. So there is my crazy hair. Ooh. And uh, before I put it in the towel, I put a little of the BTW Company serum on it to reduce frizz and everything else. And since I don't want to, um, since I don't want to damage my gray hair and make it yellow from heat styling, I always spray a little thermal protectant. Today I'm using the Enjoy Protect and Shine. Not a fan of the way it smells, but it does do a great job and the shine is really nice. It's just the candy smell is kind of annoying, but it does fade at least. So, I'm going to spray it all over. Then I'm going to brush it through. I am not an expert at using hair tools. I'm just a regular lady, somewhat uh, discombobulated when it comes to using things. So, uh, you know, I'm no expert, but I'm just showing you what I do, and it seems to work pretty well. The Revlon One Step is very easy to use. So uh, let me just show you how I do the bangs first. Okay, so I'm going to part it. Okay, I have about three cowlicks going on in my hair, so that's why my hairdresser suggested I dry the bangs first to get those out. So I'm just going to take a clip, put it in there, and this is what I do first. I take my regular old-fashioned Ionic hair dryer. Okay. Now I'm going to take the rest of my hair and put it in sections. Now obviously, like a lot of us, I go to work in the morning. And even though I only wash my hair twice a week now, I don't always have time to put everything in sections. The Revlon One Step still works fine, but it works best, like any hair dryer, if you, if you dry it in sections. It's more efficient. It's really not more time consuming. It just it just feels like a lot for me to do when I'm waking up at 5:30 and trying to get out of the house. I always put it on low or cool because if you have gray hair, um, it, the like I said earlier, the heat can damage it and turn it yellow. So I always prefer cool or cool or low, and uh, they still work fine. I usually use. Low cool doesn't seem to dry it fast enough for me. So. Okay, the bottom's pretty darn dry. I can finish it later as I'm finishing up the other sections. It's just a little easier then. So I'm gonna put down this sign.
going to take a break for a second and show you. It really comes out smooth. It's great. When I just did a normal blow dryer, sometimes I would get frizz. And just love the way my hair looks with the Revlon One Step. It, it's so much easier than using the brush and the blow dryer. I love it. Um, the only thing I'm not crazy about is I have sore thumbs and hands because I type all day and I'm on my phone too much. And so the wide barrel here, it, it kind of makes my fingers ache. I hope that in the future maybe they can come up with a better barrel that um, isn't so damn huge. You know, I, I don't have really tiny hands, but it does start to make my thumbs ache, and um, maybe I just need to get off my phone more. But if you have arthritis or another kind of uh, nerve damage in your hands, I, I can't recommend this. But if you're a normal, everyday person without hand issues, I do think it's great. Okay, just wanted to put that out there. Okay, I'm gonna try the other side. So that took about 12 minutes from start to finish, including drying my bangs with the regular old hair dresser or hair dryer. I could stand to dry it a little more in the back, but I don't want to bore you to death. Anyways, you can see it really comes out smooth. I haven't completely figured out how to dry my new haircut without it getting this little bubble thing on the side. I think I'm going to run the one step over it a little, going the opposite direction just to keep it from getting poofy. Some people want the extra volume, but I've never been a big volume person. Anyway, but my hair feels great, smooth and shiny, and it didn't take any longer than using my regular hair dryer. In fact, let's put it this way, it's more efficient because I get much better results in little less than the time it took me to use my old blow dryer and get crappy results so somehow it all works out anyway if you like check out my full review on my blog i'll post a link in the show notes i'll also post a link to the one step and um also this great enjoy protect and shine uh thermal protectant i also like the bamboo thermal protectant i'll put that on there as well if you don't like the smell of this one which I would be surprised if you liked it, but the results are great. Anyway, so that's it. Thanks for watching. I don't know if you can hear Apollo snoring, but he always has to be part of my videos because he's my baby. Anyway, take care. Have a great week. Bye.